Ladies and gentlemen, this title bout is sanctioned by the Royal Boxing Council, the Honorable Roy Van Putten of Aruba, Mexico, the supervisor in charge, and is approved by the New York State Athletic Commission, the former light heavyweight champion of the world, Jose Torres, chairman. The judges, Bernie Friedkin, Carol Castellano, and Victor Suarez. Counting for the lockdown seconds, alternate referee Joe Santarpia. The timekeeper for the bell is Cecilio Pedraja. In the ring at this time, the man in charge of the scheduled 12-round title bout, referee Al Lobianco. And now, my good friends, introducing the principals. First, in the blue corner, wearing the black trunks with the white trim. He tipped in at an even 210 pounds. This young man has 18 wins, one loss, one draw, with 14 knockouts. All the way from Louisville, Kentucky. Ladies and gentlemen, here is James Pritch Pritchard. Pritchard. And his opponent in the red corner, wearing the red trunks with the white trim. He weighed in at an even 225 pounds. This gentleman has 32 wins, one loss, two draws, with 19 knockouts. The former World Boxing Association heavyweight champion, a native of Akron, Ohio, and now residing in Las Vegas, Nevada. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Michael Dynamite Dokes. Dokes. Gentlemen, we're fighting under the WBC Continental American rules. You received your instructions in the dressing room by me. I want you to listen to my commands during the course of the bout. I want you to protect yourself at all times, shake hands, and good luck. The rules for the WBC Continental America's title fight tonight. Scoring done on a 10-point must system by three judges. There is no standing eight count. The three knockdown rule has been waived. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell except in the last round. And by the way, the butt rule, the way that works, scorecards will be tabulated if three rounds are in the books. If three rounds are not complete, the fight is a no contest. And Dokes has come storming out here in the opening round. Dokes must think this is Mike Weaver in there with the heavyweight championship when he won it in Las Vegas, Nevada in one minute and three seconds. The fastest time anybody's ever picked up the heavyweight championship of the world. Right out and planted a left hook on Pritchard's jaw. So Dokes beat Mike Weaver, and James Pritchard lost to Mike with, uh, Weaver. That's the only blemish on his record, knocked out in the sixth round in August of 1987. Dokes looks so much better with those pounds just shedding from him. 237 last time out, 225 now. Promises next time in the ring he'll be down even more. He began at 279 when the comeback began, so he is down 54 pounds. That's a lot of blubbering. This is a big fight for Pritchard. He's won his last three after losing to Weaver under the tutelage of Jimmy Ellis. A hard right hand rang the bell of Pritchard for a moment. Dokes to the body. And Dokes making a lot of noise with each of his punches. Supplementing those punches with grunts and he gets through with the jab. And he staggers Pritchard momentarily. Dokes looks strong and serious. Let's see how momentarily this is. Dokes backing Pritchard up. And Pritchard lands a left hook that rocked Dokes momentarily. Out of nowhere, James Pritchard slowed down Michael Dokes. If only for a moment. He earned his respect quickly. I think all the fighters on tonight's card ate at the same place and they had some high protein energy food because every one of the men we've seen tonight have come out bombing. Richard ranked number 29 by the WBC, Dokes number 26. There's that hard jab of Michael Dokes and Pritch is trying to get home with his hard jab. But it's that hand speed of Dokes right now which is making the difference. Good left hook by James Pritchard. 
Inside of 30 seconds in round one. There's the Jeff. Richard showing us a little bit of Jeff. Drawing to a close. This one's scheduled for 12 for the belt. We'll be back. For half of the first round, Michael Dokes is having his way with Pritchard. Then all of a sudden, Pritchard leaps in with a hard left hook to the chin. And that punch could be so important to the entire fight because all of a sudden, Pritchard got the respect of Dokes. After Dokes had come out looking like he was going to steamroll. That's right. I think for a few moments, Dokes is thinking, hey, this is... This could be a cakewalk. I'm landing shots on this guy and hurting him. And he realizes this kid has come to fight. And a big right hand landed by Pritchard. So he has landed two big punches. One a left hook, one a solid right. There's a nice combination by Pritchard. A two-punch combination, right hand, left hook. Turning the wrist. See, Jimmy Ellis told him after round one, you're just laying your jab out there. Step into it. Bad intentions. I think that hand speed now is going to have to come into play. This is what we were talking about before. The power against the speed. And Doge still has the speed in the hands. Do you see much of a decline, Randy? A bit. You have to realize, he had two of the fastest hands in the history of the heavyweight division. If you're having trouble remembering some of the fastest heavyweights, let me help you. Jack Johnson, Floyd Patterson, Muhammad Ali, and how about a guy right now? Catskill Thunder, Mike Tyson. Michael Dokes is right up there with any one of them. Wendell Cherry, manager of James Pritchard, said that he's very pleased with James' progress and that the timetable called for an upscale fight with a recognized opponent. And he felt the timing, the exposure, and the opposition fit the situation very well. The words of Wendell Cherry. And a good left hook by Pritchard. They traded left hooks. Dokes got him sharp right on the chin. Richard looked at him and smiled. Dokes landed the right. Backing Pritchard up. Richard is built like a linebacker, inside linebacker. He's about 5'11 and a half and just as wide across the shoulders. Richard weighed at 210 for this bout. Dokes 225. Pritchard trying to stay close. This is where he loves his opponent to be. Inside of 30 seconds in the second round. Dokes backing up a little bit in this round. And a little blood from the right nostril of Michael Dokes. Second round drawing to a close. <laughs> round number three, scheduled for 12 for the WBC Continental America's Heavyweight Championship. Michael Dynamite Dokes. And the red trunks with the white trim and James Pritch Pritchard in the black trunks, also with the white trim. Good second round for Pritchard. Dokes up. There's the jab of Dokes. He's got to land that jab effectively if he wants to win this fight. Because Pritchard is coming at him. Pritchard looks stronger than I've ever seen him before. But then he says he's been working harder than he's ever worked before. And certainly, you look at his body, and he is home. It's really nice to look at a heavyweight and see that he's in shape. Too many today. As I said, I call this the Pachyderm Division. Dokes won the WBA title in December of 1982. Yielded it. His reign was short in September of 83 when Jerry Cotzea knocked him out in the 10th. His inactivity was from March 85 to December 87. Problems with drugs. Finally, he got back in the ring. This is his fourth bout back. Now, this is some test. James Pritchard. 
We'll find out a lot about Dokes' comeback tonight. Pritchard, to me, it looks like he's starting to have fun in there. He's putting on the pressure. He's getting nailed with a few shots. Oh, a beautiful left hook landed by James Pritchard. Another left hook. He backs Dokes up. But I don't think Pritchard has too much respect right now for the punching power of Michael Dokes. Remember, he's gotten hit by one of the hardest punchers in the division, Mike Weaver, and he never left his feet. That hook of Pritchard has been pretty. Nice body shot, right hand by Michael Dokes. He's starting to breathe a bit heavy now. Thirty seconds to go, third round. Dokes getting up on his toes a bit now. Landing to the body. Right hand landed by Pritchard, right to the face. Follows it up in the left hook. And Pritchard has gotten to Dokes twice in this round. But the former champ comes back with some hard blows. And this fight is going the way people expected it to go, to be a war. That's what Pritchard wants. Three rounds complete, Michael Dokes has taken some leather to the face. Pritchard continued to put the pressure on in round number three. He got it with a real nice left hand and brought a right hand behind it. I gotta tell you, Michael Dokes took those shots extremely well. And then another long right hand that snapped the head back of Michael Dokes, who then came back with some shots of his own. But for a moment, his eyes showed some tremendous pain and respect. Let's listen in the corner of Dokes. Calm down. Jab right here. Take your stand. Let him go and be kind of shit. Now it's just a word he got As we move to the fourth. Pritchard has established his strength. Dokes knows what he wants to do, Randy. The question is, does he have the tools to do it? Well, he has the tools to become heavyweight champ of the world and get right to the top of the division. I'm sure he's still got those tools. Whether the rust is off those tools is another question. He's throwing what we call the up jab. Larry Holmes had the up jab. Muhammad Ali had the up jab. And how far does Dokes go back? He was once a sparring partner for both Holmes and Muhammad Ali. Richard was a pretty good amateur. He beat Michael Bent this year's Olympic hopeful in the quarterfinals of the 1984 Olympic trials. He then lost the decision to Henry Tillman, who went on to beat a guy by the name of uh, Tyson in the final, and then took the 201-pound goal. Richard's been around. He is 27. Dokes is 29. Dokes to the body, and he got out. Another solid body blow as he digs the glove into the stomach of Pritchard. Right before that left hand to the body came a right hand. I don't think the right hand had any effect, but when that left hand got in, Pritchard opened his eyes wide in pain. Because he dug it in there. Really placed it in there. I mean, everything behind it. All 225 pounds. That time... Dokes went down to the body, but left his hands down, left his chin out, and got nailed. I'm wondering if Pritchard, Pritchard can really hurt Dokes with a single shot. This one could be just simply a war of attrition. Which man imposes his will on the other one, which man wears the other one down? And if Dokes is going to win this bout by boxing, he's going to have to go a long way and eat a lot of leather along that way. And at this point, Pritchard's the one that's eating leather. He's eating that up jab because he's looking for too many one-shot knockout blows. 
Dokes using his savvy in this round. And a much better round for Dokes after Pritchard took command of the second and third round. Scoring on a 10-point must system, remember. Four rounds complete. Randy Gordon, Madison Square Garden Spell Forum. This is for the WBC Continental America's Heavyweight Championship, and it's been a good one thus far. As we move to the fifth round of the scheduled 12-round bout. Randy, how do you have it scored so far? Even 38 points apiece. First round to Dokes, fourth round to Dokes. Bruce, your scorecard? 38-38. Oh, man, I gotta agree with you for once. I know it's painful. Jabbed well, and went to the body well in that last round. And here comes Pritchard, winging. There was that power jab. Pritchard came in with a real power jab there. That's the one that Jimmy Ellis wants him to throw. Those body shots may not look like... The longer this fight goes, Pritchard might be slowed down tremendously from the effect of the body blows. Trainer Jimmy Ellis, never won here at the Garden. He hopes to bring a fighter that can win in James Pritchard. I think that as a middleweight, he threw a big right hand that knocked light heavyweight contender Johnny Pearsall into dreamland. But in his heavyweight bout, he was smoked in 1970 by smoking Joe Frazier. Jimmy Ellis, 48 years old now, had a record of 40, 12, and 1. Won the heavyweight championship on split decision when he beat Jerry Quarry in 68, and he is the man that Pritchard really needs in his corner now. <laughs> Dokes landing the jab and move it. <laughs> nice right uppercut by Pritchard, leaning into his shots. There's a good jam by Pritchard. That's a part of the arsenal that's new. Dokes landing more often. Pritchard landing the more powerful blows. That was a low shot by Dokes. Got away with it. Nice double left hand by Pritchard. Went to the body, then to the head. Good exchange. Pritchard smiles, but he took a pretty good punch. Round number six, scheduled for 12. James Pritchard said of Michael Dokes, I respect the guy, he can still fight, but I'm going to hurt the man. Wait and see. Turn him over and stick a fork in him. He's done. Pritchard not intimidated by Dokes or his record. Pritchard landing a right hand. The best punches Michael Dokes is landing are those body shots, both hands, the left hook to the liver, the right hand to the midsection. There's a double, triple jab by Dokes. There's that up jab, and he's doing it with an open glove, which Al Lopianco has not really caught yet. Pritchard lunged into the corner with that left. Now Dokes digs a body shot that had Pritchard with the mouth wide open. Pritchard looks to have gone into his conserve energy mode. Just following Dokes in the circle. See, this isn't pressure. Dokes walks three steps back. Pritchard walks three steps in, but not doing anything. And that body blow again landed squarely on the stomach of Pritchard. Pritchard exploding with the left. 
as Pritchard is standing there, he's just taking leather, and finally he turns a few shots loose. There's the quick hands of Dokes again. Short combination. Both banged off the top of the head of Pritchard. Looks like Pritchard is thinking too much right now rather than just turning the shots loose. And maybe he's starting to feel a little frustration because he certainly has hit Michael Dokes with some bombs. And yeah, Dokes wobbled once or twice. Had his bell rung, but kept through punches right back in return. It seems as though if Pritchard doesn't go out to get him, if he if he plays possum, if he rests a little bit during the round, Dokes is going to win the round on sheer boxing, landing that jab. That's what's doing it so far this round. The jab, the combinations. Look at that, another combination, whipping those shots in. Pretty three-punch combo there. Dokes appears to be slowing down. Not appears to be, he is slowing down. So I said Pritchard and Dutch. Pritchard is one slowing down. Pritchard, right. Sixth round, a good one for Michael Dokes. Four or five solid body blows landed. We move to the seventh round. Michael Dokes coming back strong in the sixth. And how do you have it scored, Randy Gordon? I've got it 57 points for Michael Dokes. 57 points, James Pritchard. Scoring done on a 10-point must in this WBC Continental America's title fight. Oh, Pritchard just walked in and landed the left right on the front of the face of Michael Dokes. And Dokes battles back. Every once in a while, Dokes will drop those hands, lose concentration for a second, and that's when Pritchard is scoring best. Nice combination, Dokes. Dokes is starting to look to put over one big right hand, which will make him a winner. Watch when they step back, how he's got that right hand cocked, loaded, ready to explode from the shoulder. Now he should lift his hand up. Trying to set it up with the jab. Right there, he's just ready to load it. Looking for the bomb and threw it, it was picked off. But Pritchard has really slowed down. He really has, he stopped pursuing. And he was so effective when he backed Dokes up against the ropes and was landing that left hook. All of a sudden, he stopped, and Dokes is now dictating the fight, putting together a couple of punch combinations. But, well, that time I was about to say that Pritch is doing a nice job in defense. He's picking a lot of shots off. But when Dokes puts his hands together in combination of three, four, five shots, he's getting a lot of them in. And that time he ate a hard right uppercut. Dokes has that long, those cornrows, and whenever, because he's so soaked down when he goes to the corner, and he's a man who just sweats profusely anyway, every time he gets hit on the head, the perspiration just flies all over, making it look as if the impact of the punch was really much greater than it was. Pritchard landing the left hook, and then eating a left hook from Dokes, who really rocked Pritchard. Dokes has Pritchard wobbly. Dokes a good finisher throughout his career. Let's see if he still is. And Al Lobianco jumping in. And that is it. Lobianco calls the fight off. There is no standing eight count. This fight is over and Michael Dokes has won it. The WBC Continental America's Heavyweight Championship. And it happened so quickly. Like a buzzsaw came Michael Dokes. The left hook started it off after he ate a pretty good one. What happens is they trade shots. And then Dokes got in a good shot. He took a hard shot, and Pritchard made the mistake of watching his handiwork instead of continuing to move his hands. And the shot caught him flush. It hurt him, and Dokes has always been a good finisher throughout his career. Went right after his opponent, 
and that is it. Michael Dokes still the finisher he once was. Wow, a strong finish by Dokes. A different angle from some of those hard punches from the former heavyweight champ of the world in red, Michael Dynamite Dokes. So early on, it was the speed of Dokes against the power of Pritchard, but in the last two rounds, Pritchard was slowing down, got nailed with a tremendous left hand on the chin, wobbled, driven back to the ropes, and a few more shots brought about an end to the fight. James Pritchard never fought beyond seven rounds in his career. The only time he went seven, April 20th, 1987, he knocked out Kevin Casimir in Lexington in the seventh. Michael Dokes, on the other hand, has gone eight rounds or more 14 times. And gentlemen, referee Al Lobianco stops this bout at two minutes and 32 seconds of the seventh round. And the winner by a TKO and the brand new World Boxing Council Color of America heavyweight champion, Michael Dynamite Dokes. Dokes, and have a nice round of applause.